This video was requested by Patreon supporter Justin Reed. Thank you so much Justin for being a supporter of mine. Long before YouTube made giving a thumbs up cool, there was another guy who wore a leather jacket, rode a motorcycle, and was the epitome of cool. No, I'm not talking about Principal Skinner. Up yours, children. I'm talking about Arthur Fonzarelli, otherwise known as the Fonz. Hey. What innovative feature was introduced in this game that is still being used today? So put on your leather jacket and comb your hair because this is the history of the Fonz Arcade Racer. To say that the Fonz was a popular character in the 1970s would be an understatement. For 11 years, the character was the primary focus of the smash hit ABC TV series Happy Days. Initially, the Fonz was intended to be a minor character in the ensemble cast with the star of the show being of son Richie Cunningham, and all of the plots having to revolve around him. After the second season, the character of the Fonz blew up and even to this day, the term Fonzie popular is still used in the television industry. Paramount wanted to capitalize on the success of the character as quickly as they could, so they released a multitude of merchandise. Everything from dolls, cars, board games, Halloween costumes, an animated series, even an arcade game. The Fonz was released in the arcades in 1976 by Sega. In 1976, Sega was nowhere near the arcade powerhouse it would later turn out to be as it was just getting its footing in the arcade scene. They had released Balloon Gun, Pongtron, and Rockenbark. I think it's safe to say that Sega's best days were ahead of them way ahead of them. The game itself was a rebrand of Sega's earlier title, Motocross. The reason Sega was able to use the Fonz character was because they were owned by the Gulf and Western Company and had access to the Paramount Library. This was the first scrolling motorcycle video game and actually had handlebars for the controls and a working throttle. You have to race against the clock while avoiding other motorcycles and not skidding off the road. This was the first game to introduce haptic feedback which would cause the handlebars to vibrate if you collided with other drivers or went off the road. This invention was later revised into the force feedback that we all know and love today. If you're able to pass 1000 kilometers, then you are given an extended play. The game itself did not use a CPU, but uses discrete logic chips instead. Unfortunately, this means the game is currently unplayable in MAME. As far as the gameplay, I haven't played it since it was at our local bowling alley in the late 70s. As an 8 year old, I loved the game, but looking back on it now, it's very primitive. It's more of a curiosity than anything else, and it's also the only time that the Fonz has ever appeared in a video game. If you want to support me on Patreon, please click the link below. Also, be sure to like, share, and subscribe to my content. It's the only way my little channel can grow. Thank you so much for watching.